On December 3, 1976, all flights from Heathrow Airport were cancelled because of a runaway 30-foot inflatable pig that Pink Floyd had released. And you're about to find out how that happened. What's the meaning of this inflatable pig? Where did it come from? And how did it break loose? Hi, I'm Adam. Welcome back to Music Mongoose. With nine albums under their belt, including the seminal Dark Side of the Moon, and nine successful years as a band, it was time to start recording album number 10, Animals. The album was loosely based on George Orwell's Animal Farm and critiques the concept of capitalism. Author Glenn Povey describes the album as the apparent social and moral decay of society, likening the human condition to that of mere animals. Yeah, sounds about right for Pink Floyd. They recorded the album between April and December of 1976 in their own Britannia Row recording studios. Animals was the first album to be recorded there. A deal they had with EMI, in which they were able to take advantage of studio space, had expired. So, in 1975, they purchased a three-story block of church halls and converted it into a studio. Yeah, sounds about right for Pink Floyd. They also went on to record part of The Wall there, including the very famous school chorus on another brick in the wall. It passed ownership a few times before finally being sold and converted to flats in 2015. Imagine living there, the building where Pink Floyd recorded some of the world's greatest songs. Anyway, back to animals and the mystery of the inflatable pig. In the final stages of recording, it was time to start thinking about the album cover. Roger Waters, with the help of artist Aubrey Powell, who's worked on album covers for the likes of Led Zeppelin, Paul McCartney, Genesis and Black Sabbath, came up with the idea of photographing a massive inflatable pig floating above London's Battersea Power Station. I'm sure there was some sort of metaphor there about capitalism and greed and, and stuff. Anyway, Roger Waters got in contact with Geoffrey Shaw, an artist known for being a leading figure in cutting-edge new media art, and asked him to build a 40-foot pig. Ha! <laughs> Probably not quite what he was used to, but he obliged and the pig was built. The pig, named Algae, would go on to be quite the unofficial symbol for Pink Floyd. It would appear frequently at concerts floating above the stage, becoming a symbol of artistic expression, a symbol of rebellion, and a symbol of the power of music to bring people together. December 3rd, the day of the shoot. Aubrey Powell recounts what happened on the day in an interview with Lucy Sparrow. That day, there was the most incredible Turner-esque sky. But for some reason, the pig wasn't inflating. I shot the station anyway, because the sky was so amazing. Eventually, they managed to inflate the pig and hoist it between the two chimneys. It was all set up and ready to go when the chain broke and the pig sailed up 20,000 feet. At that point, the band promptly left the scene. Yeah, sounds about right for Pink Floyd. The pig flew into the flight path of Heathrow, grounding all flights. Aubrey Powell was arrested and an alert was sent out to be on the lookout for a rogue 40-foot inflatable pig. Even the Royal Air Force sent out a crew to look for it. At 9.30pm, Aubrey received a call from an angry Kentish farmer. The worst kind of farmer. The pig had, quite fittingly, landed in a farmer's field and was scaring the cows to death, according to him. Amazingly, using stronger chains, Pink Floyd and Aubrey were able to have another attempt at shooting the album cover. However, on the second try, the sky wasn't quite as striking as that first attempt. So, Powell combined the two images and admits it's actually a completely faked photograph. But the album had its cover, and the pig was safe and secure for another day. The album went on to reach number two in the charts and went four times platinum in the States. Some, to this day, believe the whole thing was a publicity stunt. And if it was, it definitely worked. It was front page news. Yeah, sounds about right for Pink Floyd. You can see why the band are quite fond of that pig. They've been through a lot together. But did you know that Dave Grohl hated the band name Foo Fighters? Click the video on screen for that. And let me know what story from the world of music you'd like to see next. I'll catch you next time on Music Mongoose.